And with that, I welcome you all to Hello Charlotte, episode one. The first game of the Hello Charlotte series, <laughs> which, disclaimer, I have uh, no idea what will be happening here. Like, I saw a few fakes, a few fakes, but I don't remember any of them. So, uh, yeah, blind playthrough here for spooky day. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew, it has ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order, and it finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. For I abandon the words that form noise in my head. Will you be so kind as to join me in dream seeing? Hello, Charlotte. Episode 1. Chunk food, gods, and teddy bears. I, I, I don't know how this correlates with each other. Hello, Charlotte. Nice to meet you. Please take care of me. Um, okay, this is my room. Better minimum. I don't know what the lectures are. It's quite modern, don't you think? I mean, yeah. Let's go to, to the dining room. I'm hungry. Also, a little something here. The first off, um, I think I should have said it in the disclaimer. It's getting a lot of spooky. Like spook gory, I should rather say. So, uh, yeah. Band-aids, scalpels, notes, tea bags, everything is such a mess. I don't want to sleep yet. Current user has to restrict the access to the data on the cube. So, current user has to get access to the tele. What? Is a log log might be useful. Look out for puppeteer symbols. Only the users with X in their names have access to all doors. Okay. Corridor. Dining room. The last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. Who? Oh? I wish Bennett didn't put his chemicals on the shelves along with the sugar and the salt. First of who is Bennett and what's a fish? Soap or thing. Not even our dining room doors would have anything edible. Some table board inside. Table board there. Here, Charlotte. I'll be home late. Call. 0800 to order food from Charlie's from Charlie's Hacks and Kisses Mom This note is 8 months old My parents work on holidays New task Order food Okay The house Basement The section room What? Tailoring room Okay test room Marine bottle. Ground floor. Living rooms. Aha. Uh -huh. Puppet menu. Okay. The puppet control menu has four options. Stuff, tasks, rewind, poems, exit. It, stuff is the inventory. Task is... Okay. What what I should do? Rewind points is probably loading. And exit is... Well, junk is stuff we throw away. Stuff is junk we keep. Tasks are daily life quests. Everyone points contain save data of previous events. And B should be used only if the puppet dies or if the puppeteer must leave the control console. Actually, it should not be an option for a responsible puppeteer. App box. There's no about the secret. Yep. The puppeteers, this guy. Uh -huh. No, non types, self type, self type. 
Male or female? Live in true realm. Pick, pick. Purpose, control, and direct. Assigned to humans only, probably. NB can rewind time when the puppet dies. The observers. Vault government members. Wear animal skulls, mask, non representatives, umbrella man. The puppets, also known as humans. Wait, what? Live in false realm. Purpose to err. To err. Mm -hmm. Non represent me, mom, dad, classmates. I'm not so sure. Actually, the aliens pretend to be human to cause less ruckus. Live in false realm. Non represent Huxley, Bennett, Aiden. Politicians. Okay. TV room. Watch to Good commercials. Uh, next on penetration. The means it's a meal commercial. Don't miss it. No, enough TV for the Yes. Wasn't like this today. Library. X69, okay. Maybe the that's making made easy, fancy fall, sort of napkin from in his bookshelf. I find it cute. Uh huh, now with more recipe, kaboom, advanced here, making the effort, uh huh, thank you. When it shows, they just scream danger and geek. But <laughs> full of literature in alien language, I can't read the titles. The nerd lord, my fairy, uh, this is mother's shelf, she loves her own books. Not on tape. I'll discuss you as a human. Ah, golden apples of the sun. This is uh, my humble. Hey, it's Charlie's organic junk foods. Please place your order. Um, I'd like to order eco-friendly chicken nuggets and then instant diabetes soda, please. What the fish? I mean, eco-friendly chicken nuggets. Okay, it's understandable. But instant diabetes soda. I'm not so sure. I shouldn't be so nervous when talking into a machine. Thank you for ordering a choice. Stay healthiest with us. Where is... Okay, um... Where is food? Sorry, use the data and monitor use the data. Not be turned off. Well, it is expected to follow the absolute rules. Embassy. Wonderful body. Bodily injury will include dismemberment, mental disturbances, or add harm to the user's well being caused by infringement of the rules listed above. Over omnipotent cubes are multitask devices that allow for the duplication, creation, or disintegration of organic matter and the storage of data. Please do not put liquid soap inside Omni cubes, as it might cause unforeseen consequences to happen. And then, please choose a category to read current user of server. Yet to complete the educational program. Plus, but I using hobbies include sewing and text. A surgeon who wants to enter the National Clinic on the second floor using old ones or various boxes of duct tape for unknown purposes. Question. I don't want to uh, say it, but uh, hey, this guy is looking kind of sus. User not Bennett. It's the name of the on the badge on his office passport suit. Okay. Dining room. Where food? Wait. Magic bridges, please. Understandable, sorry. Find a way to go to the attic.
Oh, it's please. Please. What the nice color X is granted. Hallway. Nothing in it. Here. A strange hissing noise is coming from behind the door. Me to open it? Uh, no. Um. Don't hurt gun now. It should be safe. Like a meal was on. You better return to the dining room. Chicken nuggets or vegetables too. Okay, I accept this. What a mockery of real food. Is it all they can offer these days? You should try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. I'm scared. Don't listen to him. The soap is much better in nutrition. Um, guys, do I get a say in this? Aliens don't really have a concept of personal space, do they? By the way, Mr. Aiden, the door to the ground floor corridor doesn't open. It's closed for minor construction works. Nothing to worry about. Come out at night, you might find something interesting there. Mm, nope. Aiden pinches. Ow. Stop giving the child weird ideas. Don't listen to him, dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be watching Soapnet in the TV room. What? What? Soap Oprah's just call for soap milkshakes. What is wrong with this guy? What is his fascination on soap? And at least. Almost forgot. Come to the dis dissection room later. I have a favor to ask of you. Actually, with you. Okay. Why? Ace? Ah. Okay, and, and now, uh. Um. Not supposed to. Four, of course. Four, of course. If you're free to make that statement, then it's correct. You may pass. What the fish is wrong with? Unlock the door. Open me. Yep, this seems fishy, although I'm still curious. Yeah, and some tools are inside, some tools are stored inside. Filled with fabric. Filled with fabric. If a butler in a white space has his own where he has a lot of clothes, especially woman clothes, it is either he's a professional tailor but has being a butler as a side thing, or he's a massive creep and should be not be interacted with at all. Like a white dress. Oh god. Read this. Well, next to it. Aha. Uh -huh. In lost order, even his mannequins are in place. Hi, Mr. Aiden, being a busy boy as always. Hello, dear girl. There's a dress I want you to try on, if you don't mind. I'd love to. I put on the dress that Taylor made. Oh, it's, it's really cute, really. Wow, it's totally rad. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. Mm. It still needs a few finishing touches. I'll give it to you when it's ready. The process is not in. Okay. Okay, now. I'm... 
Open the box. Suddenly everything collapses into a singularity. Sun indestructible in less than a second. But I can add yes. <laughs> Wait a moment, do I have to... Okay. Got it opens the door. There's a giant cock... No, bandit. Got this healthy chunk of food's delivery. Please sign here. Okie dokie. Gotta make my signature beautiful. Draws, draws a large X on the paper. Nailed it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. The delivery man hits his palate lightly and leaves. So, don't open the singularity. Saving. Do it yourself, heart massage. Everything you wanted to know about string theory. Fear to ask. Perfect gene, bad science, the man who mistook his wife for a hat. Oh, funny, some books I've read. Red. Carving him embrace you in a peacock. Push your history. Do if your daughter brings some the rape. What if your daughter brings home uranium? You know, you know that stuff, the radioactive stuff that. Is also used in at atomic bombs. Yeah, what about what, uh, what happens? Yeah, I, I want to read this, please. We are, I don't know, access in it. Okay. Well, man, we are out of nowhere when I was a child. When I was in kindergarten or in the library with mom or alone in my room, he was always there, watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the room. Not uttering a single word. When I tried to tell mother about him. He lifted a finger to his lips. As if not wanting me to speak. So I didn't. In my book of truth I called him the observer. As soon as I, as I defined him. The man spoke for the first time. Oh. Oh. That name is not bad I must say. He remarked. However, wouldn't anyone who watches over you become an observer? I had to agree. Hmm, then I'll call you the Umbrella Man. Slightly taking it back, the man coughed. Ahem, <clears throat> although I would have preferred a more euphonic name, let it stay this way. Since then I gave every new person I met in the house a distinctive name. This is just me, or do I have a slightly can of wipes here? Mom asked who I was talking to. I didn't tell her about the umbrella man. Instead, I told a lie. Birthday. On the day of my 10th birthday, the doorbell rang in the middle of the night. A masked man wearing a top hat and a black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlotte, he said with the smile of a man who offers children candies. And her mother told me not to talk to strangers. I answered in a determined voice. That's out of sign. I am no stranger to you. Human memory is so ephemeral, isn't it? Even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy, I insisted. Me? Bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because all villains were top hats. I mean, she's not wrong there. Oh, is that so? What a silly pretty... Produce, the man commented with a small laugh. Don't let this appearance fool you. Those words he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other than the umbrella man himself. Although I'd love to have a chat with you on your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. Put on my head, curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that a puppeteer has been assigned to you since you've reached the age of 10. Is this somehow kind of related to Pokemon? Who is that? They are a representative of the true realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome species. The one assigned to you is a Seth type, 
puppeteer. As for the purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, throughout your short lives. Why would they do that? You feel a one. Free will is fiction. I chewed on my words, trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, this choice of words must have been too difficult for a child. Let me put it another way. Meet your new friend, who will watch over you. Their name is Seth. Don't bully them too much, okay? Being just out of soap pipe. Bennett is too much focused on soap. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Sorry, but this is this is not an attack against anybody who actually attacks soap. It's just if you're too fixated on soap and soap alone, then then we have a slight weird problem here because it is okay if you attack just if you attach yourself to something, but uh, soap, just soap, just soap, soap only. You are a soap only guy. You wash yourself with soap, of course. You eat soap alone. You read Bibles of soap. So, your son is an alien. How to raise your IQ by watching soap operas? I'm not sure about the usefulness of the second This aim. Only guy to country in the universe. 425th Bell Proof Edition. Huh? Cannibal Man set free. Human Encyclopedia, the complete clinical surgery for dummies, uh, doesn't I mean they need to die from. Okay, retina scan, okay, and also retina scan. Eve? Please busy dissection, dissecting a corpse, perhaps if it was human once. Hey, Dr. Huxley. Hello, little Charlotte. How was that little talk we had earlier? Can you do me the favor of looking after my lovely nephew for a couple of days? I've been so busy working on the cure for eye plague that I can't keep an eye on him at all. Good joke, good joke, good joke, good joke, good joke. But also, what? Well, I don't know. Oh no. He could be collecting rare specimens in broad daylight right now. He's too passionate for his own good. Are you too passionate for your own good yourself? The main reason why I'm worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see. Ah. He may have a bad attitude, but don't let that guide to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Ugh, I don't need anyone to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Also, where the fish did you come from? Where the fish did you come from? Like, you, you were your own. Right, right. Now go play with your new big sister. Uncle has signs to do. Mmm, he has signs like the good father from Mad Father, who also did some science. There he goes again. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi. If you want to make... It through the day, don't you dare invade my personal space. Oh, I can almost feel this cloud burning into my skin. This is going to be a long day. There's a section more of your new taxes you've killed time. Oh also wait. Wait, can I wait here? <laughs> Uh, this, so this is where this crew work. Much stuff usually blows up in here, so it has restricted access. It's Franklin. His name is Bald Baldwin. And Jeanette. Watching. Hmm, I'm always considering a possibility of being watched. It's pretty possible if we take into account all the conspiracy theories. 
Because you've written on a suit label. Hector. Franklin. Hello, Florence. What's up? We've discovered that adding dark matter to the dough improves the taste of a chocolate cake by 15%. Hector, what? Don't tell anyone. Okay, okay. The suit label. Okay, can can can. Thank you. Don't tongue tear. Okay, good to know. There's two frag. Okay, let's just. I can open these. What's this squishy? A specimen for research and an organ supply. Look, but do not touch. Understandable. Have a good day. What the fish was this giant thing? Move aside. The door scans the bodies. Boy, I. One door out of three leads to death. You enjoyed the, the, the what? Hope you enjoyed the Monty Hall room. Sure and die. So I think the price. Well, is this for real? Want to check? Nothing happens. Open it up. Yeah. Ah. Yes, I would like to click. What? Yes. But an Azure ribbon. No. Oh, cute. Um. Very busy. Okay. 